What's up everybody? Today we are making a beehive cake. My name is Lori and you guys are watching The Icing Artist. To start off, I have an eight inch round vanilla cake and a half sphere vanilla cake. I baked these cakes because I didn't want to carve this cake too much, but we're gonna need to carve it more into a beehive shape. A little bit more cone, cone-like on top. I have divided my cake into lots of layers so we can put lots of delicious buttercream in between each layer. So I am just going to slowly stack up my cake. We are so excited to be partnering up with Satin Ice on this video. Amazing fondant that actually tastes great and is really fun to work with. Once I have it nice and layered up, it is time to crumb coat it. Of course, as always, I will leave all of the recipes that I'm using in this video in the description box below. Now it's time to actually make this cake look like a beehive. So using a large round piping tip, number 809, I'm gonna pipe little spirals kind of going all the way up the cake. Even though real beehives look nothing like this, that's what we're gonna do because cartoon beehives look like this. Try really hard to have the same pressure on your piping bag as you're going around it. But then again, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is a beehive made, made by bees, you know? It's, it's made with love. Now the back of the cake looks terrible, but it's okay. I, I've, I've got a plan. We're gonna smooth it out with an offset spatula, but actually blend it in pretty good. All right, it is time to make our bees. It brings the whole beehive cake together. I rolled my yellow fondant into a log and then cut that into little sections. This is the easiest way to get the same size shape of everything. I don't know if you guys have the same problem as I do. I struggle so hard and they always end up very different sizes. I rolled out some black fondant using a pizza cutter. Cut out some little strips. I then added some water to my black fondant and just kind of rolled my bee around around the stripes. Did you know to make one scoop of honey, a bee has to fly to a thousand flowers? One beehive can actually contain 40,000 bees. That is a lot of bees all in one place. To make the stinger, I just used a black fondant and pinched together the one end so it was at a scary point. You know those crazy people who are, who are terrified of bees and terrified of being stung of bees and it's so completely irrational because bees don't just come up and sting you? I'm, I'm that person. I'm the person who, who runs recklessly away from the bees. <laughs> Probably bringing more attention to myself to get stung, and I don't know what it is, but being stung by a bee just, just, just scares me. I would love to know in, in the comment section, guys, what is your irrational fear? Are you guys scared of bees, spiders, snakes? Let me know. But these aren't scary bees. These are cute little adorable bees. Then just using a Sharpie, I gave him two little eyes. Just kidding, don't use Sharpies and cakes. You can use edible markers for these types of things. They work great and they're edible so you don't poison anybody. I also cut out a little bee door out of some black fondant. Before I stick my bees on the cake, I really wanted to make this trail kind of going around. I thought it'd be really cute to make a heart shape and kind of make little loops going around the cake. I start off by making the heart first because I figured that was the easiest way. And then I just did that going all the way around the side of the cake, adding these like little loops and little spirals. I think the most fun bee fact that I actually found looking online was that bees actually have a little, a little bee dance. When a bee finds a really good flower, it will go to another bee and it will perform, you know, a little bee dance. Hey bee, check out, check out the flower over there. There's some, there's some good flowers over there, bee. The bigger the dance, the better the flower. I stuck two toothpicks in one of my bees and stuck that into my cake so the trail's kind of going around that bee. For the rest of my bees, I wanted them kind of flying all the way around my beehive, so I just took some flower wire, twisted that around a dowel, and then pulled it out, and that gave me a little cute spiral. Stuck that into my bee and then stuck those into the cake. I love that this cake is actually iced in buttercream. It means it is gonna be so delicious to eat. All the little fondant details and the fondant bees, I think really tie everything in together, especially that little trail heart. It's working, everything is just working with the cake. Last week we actually hit 500,000 subscribers and then this week we're already at 600,000 subscribers. You guys are just amazing. If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like up this video and click the subscribe button that's right over here. It's just the floating head. I will also leave more links to more videos over here that you guys can check out. Don't forget to come back here again next week because we will be making something else into cake. Bye guys.